Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, The Novel Nana. I'm Bex. So today, I'm going to be bringing you a new original tag. Actually, for the whole month of March, I think my Tuesday's videos are going to be tags. And I'm hoping that I can share with you a lot of the original tags that I've created. And maybe you'll get some fun and uh, fun out of doing them. And um, so we'll, uh, we'll just kind of each week, each Tuesday, um, I'm thinking for the entire rest of the month of March. Maybe I'll follow in to a little bit of April. Not sure yet. Just depends on how it goes. But I do know there's a lot of you out there that love tags. So um, this one I've created. It's called the AuthorTube Tribe Tag. And there are 10 questions. So before we get into the video, I want to quickly remind you, if you do like this type of content, please be sure to hit that like button um, and give it a thumbs up because it really does help my channel. And also, um, you know, subscribe if you want to. And if you want to know when I do upload, just ring that bell and it'll notify you of the next time that I have a video for you. Also, if you do want to follow me on any of my socials, I am on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and of course, you can find me right here on YouTube. So getting right into the video, who is your or who in your tribe is most likely to win a trivia contest? Um, I have a lot of people that I consider in my tribe, um, but I will narrow it down. There are a few little rules here that I've put in play. Uh, one, you can only use one name per question, um, and if you use a name, you can't use it again. So that should make it a little bit, maybe a little more difficult and more inclusive and be able to give at least 10 people a shout out. So anywho, back to the video. So there are 10 questions, and again, the first question was, who in your tribe is most likely to win a trivia contest? Now, even though a lot come to mind, I'm going to say, um probably Charlie Dorsett. He has a plethora of knowledge, so I'm going to choose Charlie. Number two, who in your tribe could likely win a karaoke contest? Again, there is so many guys. Um, I'm going to choose Meadow. Meadow has a beautiful singing voice and um, Meadow Lamaru, so I'm choosing her. Number three, who in your tribe would you suspect of maybe being popular in school? Um... There's quite a few for this one as well, but I think just personality-wise, I'm going to go with Barrett Laurie. Uh, number four, question number four, who in your tribe is most likely to have a stand-up comedy show? For this one, I'm going to choose Kent Sean because he's freaking hilarious. Um, number five, number five, who in your tribe would, would you most likely run into at a haunted house? I'm going to pick... I'm going to pick D.L. Tillery because she does um, do a lot of the horror type uh, genre, is interested in that kind of thing. So I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to pick D.L. Tillery. Uh, number six, let's see, who in your tribe would totally fit in at your family reunion? Oh my gosh, I should have used, it's okay. Um, let's see, who would fit in at my family reunion? Probably D.L. Stewart because he's also, you know, here in Arkansas. So, um, and he's like a brother to me and he's kind of got the same sense of humor as a lot of my family members and I do. So I'm going to pick D.L. Stewart, Stewie. Uh, number seven, question number seven, who in your tribe would you not want to put on speakerphone? Okay, I'm going to say Alec Williams, A.L. Williams. Um, you know why. I mean, you can make a grown woman blush. So I'm definitely choosing you. Uh, number eight, number eight. Who in your tribe would be excellent company to have on a road trip? I think a lot of my tribe would be great to have on a road trip. Um, I'm going to pick QWERTY because QWERTY is not only hilarious, but... She is so entertaining. Um, she knows a lot of things. She's, you know, well-traveled and she's intelligent. She's quirky. She's fun. Um, and she sings. So yeah, I'm going to pick Cordy for this one. And number nine, almost forgot how to count guys. Number nine, who in your tribe have you had the longest conversation with? 
um, like it once, I'm going to say, oh wait, yeah, that's easy. That's Aphrodite Lee. We once had, and I think, I'm almost positive that it was our first actual conversation. We'd only, um, you know, been in like a chat or whatever a few times um, on stream kind of back and forth or messaged one another. But for an actual phone call, I think it was the first time that, that her and I had actually spoken on the telephone. Like it was our first initial introduction um, outside of like AuthorTube. Uh, we had like a, I want to say it was like 12 and a half, 11 and a half something hours, <laughs> like straight, straight through. Um, so yeah, Aphrodite Lee. Uh, on to the last question, number 10. We made it, guys. Number 10, who in your tribe is most likely to get into some mischief? I'm going to say Jace Maxwell. He knows why. <laughs> so I am um, I think Jace, he's hilarious, but he's just a little, he's a little trickster, you know? He's He likes to stir, you know, up, um, not drama, but I think he is really in for like, um, you know, kind of like the gotchas and the... Um, kind of making you laugh or um, just really kind of playing up every conversation, taking you down routes that, you know, you may not like want to go. But um, I think he always has a way of like steering the conversation that is is really funny and sometimes um, can be considered like really mischievous. But I do think that Jace would, would uh, definitely fit in that category. So anyways, guys, that is all the questions. I hope you liked this tag. And uh, again, if you did and you like this style of content, just give it a thumbs up for me and let that algorithm know. So anywho, that's all I have for you today. I will see you Thursday with a new video. And again, back here on Tuesday for another tag. So thanks again for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you. Bye, guys. Try out the tag, will ya? Bye.